Hey guys, it's early December now, so it's time for our November favorites. I have quite a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's just jump right into it. I will always try to incorporate some books and movies in my monthly favorites video just because they are also my very strong passion other than makeup. The movie I've watched this month and I really love it is called The Elephant Man, directed by the very well-known director David Lynch and the movie came out at 1980. It's actually not a really old movie but they make it look like a very old movie like black and white and vintage uh, atmosphere. I kind of hesitate for a long time whether to talk about this movie in my monthly favor because uh, I do love it but I don't think I will watch it the second time so if you have never watched this movie I strongly recommend it but if you have watched this movie then you probably know what I am talking about this is the type of movie that is so strong and so intense definitely very touched but I don't think I would want to watch it the second time just because it doesn't make me so comfortable when watching it long story short the elephant man is uh, a man who was born with very very severe disfigurement on his face, his whole body, his back. He's kind of slave in a circus, and then he, uh, of course, he is not. He is treated very bad. And one day, there's this doctor uh, who is played by An Anthony Hopkins, and this doctor found him, rescued him, save him, and he bring him to the hospital and start to take care of him and he realized he's actually this elephant man can talk he actually very sophisticated very very smart and he reads a lot he he knows a lot it's just all this is hidden under his disfigurement i don't want to talk too much about the story itself because i think it's something you have to watch it yourself to understand but i don't know this type of story always gets to me uh, like the, the other movie, Edward, the Caesar Hand, something like that, played by Johnny Depp. Well, it's very different atmosphere and very different style. This one, The Elephant Man, is just very, almost a little bit depressing, but in a very strong way. While the Edward Caesar Hand is kind of more of a humorous, lively type of atmosphere. But basically, this type of theme always gets to me when people don't understand um, certain things then they are afraid of them just because the elephant man or the Edward Caesar hand they were born very different from other people or they were raised they act very different from other people from the majority then people just discriminate them or judge them yeah this type of bully really always gets to me and it always breaks my heart uh, when I watch the Edward Caesar hand and the elephant man. I just, you know, cry so much. Uh, especially the elephant man because the script and movie are just really very, very heartbreaking. Actually, there's no really very severe violent scenes at all. There's no blood, no... There is some bully scene, but it's really not that severe actually. But I don't know why, it just leaves a very, very dark shadows on my mind maybe that's the point maybe the director wants us to feel so uncomfortable and imagine if when we watch this movie we feel so bad already what about people who are like the elephant men in the movie they probably feel like 100 times worse than us so again i strongly recommend and urge you guys to watch this movie if you haven't watched it will not be the most fun and exciting movie experience ever but um, the whole movie is actually shot in a very graceful sophisticated way like i say there's no blood no actual really bully type of thing so uh, don't need to worry about it but i just feel as human beings we can always improve ourselves i don't i, I already think i'm more of a non-judgmental person and i'm sure many of you don't discriminate people but 
I guess when watching this type of movie, it still helps a lot to reflect on ourselves. Oftentimes, it's just a matter of degree. Maybe we don't discriminate people, we are not racist, or we don't judge people on their appearance. Maybe most of us are like that, I believe, I hope. But、uh, still, sometimes might make remark or judge people just because they are different, or just because some. Uh, people they are they don't do what the majority do or they don't act like how the majority act. Like does it mean they are bad? This type of movie can always make us think about more upon ourselves. Although many of us may already be doing pretty good in that department, but I just think it's still. Worth the watch. Finally, I have two books to share this month. They are from the same author. The ones I have are in Chinese translation, and I think originally they were in、uh, German. And I'm sure they are English translations available because they are quite successful. I think so. The writer are called. I'm not going to try to pretend I can pronounce because it's German, but. Uh, the writer is called Ferdinand von Skirach. In English translation, one is called Crime, and the other is called Guilt. So basically, this writer、uh, was originally a lawyer, an attorney, and he just wrote all those short stories about. I don't know whether it's actually his case, his chambers, or it's just the stories he's seen. When he is serving as a lawyer, one of them is a collection of stories when people commit crimes, but they are not sentenced. They kind of get away. I don't know in other countries, but in Taiwan, this type of thing happens a lot.、Uh, after reading this book, guilt make me feel a little bit better because I know as long as people commit crimes. Whether they are sentenced or not, you know, they their conscience or their life will still suffer in one way or another. They will still punish in other ways. So this is guilt. The other book is called Crime, and this book is also very interesting. Also a collection of short stories about the really good people, but they commit crimes either accidentally or their behavior is. Defined as crime in the modern world law, but based on this different scenario and different life story, we may kind of relate to them. For example, mercy killing or、uh, this type of thing doesn't fit the law in the nowadays world. But when we read the story, we feel very compassionate about those people because we know that they commit those crime because they don't have other choice or because they. Love each other a lot. I think what I love about those two books the best is that,、uh, just like the movie The Elephant Man, I think they really teach me, teach us to not judge things so fast. There are always different background, different、um, factors that contribute a situation. They may not be as what we observe at the first sight. So. Those books they really teach me to be very open-minded and very non-judgmental, and always give a second thought. Don't judge people so fast, and they are really very interesting. If you have to choose one to read first, I will、uh, recommend the.、Uh, this one is Crime, because I think it's a little bit more, a bit more warm-hearted and a little bit more. Positive and op- optimistic. Although all those people, good people in this book, they did commit crime and they did to pay for it. But usually their motivation are really very、um, touching. So if you want to choose one to read first, I will recommend this one, the crime. And after reading crime, if you are interested, then you can move on to read this one, which is guilt. Um, I will not call it negative, but it's definitely. Uh, less warm-hearted than this one. This one, many people who commit some really、uh, serious crime that get away with it. Although, like I say, they all in the end get punished in different ways. But 
basically it's a little bit darker and more negative compared to this one but I strongly recommend both of them and if you like to read short stories especially a little bit law related or real life related then you should definitely give them a try that's it so that's all the things i've been loving in the month of november i hope you guys enjoy it if you have any question upon uh, any of those specific product or the movie or book i mentioned then really just feel free to comment in the comment section uh, just ask me anything and i will really be happy to answer you thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you like my videos and i will see you guys very soon Bye-bye.